Hello everyone, Ace here, and today I would like to talk about the recent banning of Todd Rogers from the Twin Galaxies uh, speedrun site. For those of you who do not know, Twin Galaxies is an American organization from the early 1980s that dedicates itself to tracking world speed records for video various video games. Todd Rogers is very well known as a speedrunner, particularly during the early arcade days, as well as a high score setter. So it may come as a shock when you learn that he may have actually not gotten those records legitimately. It's even worse when you consider that the game in question that's gotten him barred today is even the one that wound up putting him into the Guinness Book of World Records. That's right, this man is in the Guinness Book of World Records for essentially being a fraud. The game in question is Dragster, and his record of 5.51 seconds has been a controversial one for some time. Early on, when he first achieved it, the company behind the game, Activision, which was actually rather small at the time, mind you, uh, did test and determined that the best theoretical speed was 5.54 seconds, rather than the 5.51. Now, he did reportedly perform this two more times, but we have no video or photos of those times. And this does seem to be confirmed by a referee, which the referee in question was a close friend of Todd Rogers and has also since been thrown in prison for, well, being a pedophile as far as I can tell. So his confirmation is questionable at best, we shall say. The other issue in more recently, however, has been that people have been testing out the possibility of the speed record and using tool-assisted speedruns have determined that it's only possible to manage a 5.57 speedrun with tool assistance. And most people have, d and they've even gone so far as to actually look at the code of the game because this is an Atari game, so the code isn't going to be that complex, and have determined what speeds could theoretically be achieved and have essentially determined that it, there's no way to achieve the speeds that Mr. Rogers is claiming without cheating. Now, he did later on post a photo of a supposed speed run in which he managed 5.54 seconds. However, it should be noted that in this particular photo, it does appear to be photoshopped, especially the 5.54 second, second mark. So that does seem to be an illegitimate speed run as well. This, of course, isn't the only game that has been called into question in terms of his records. There have been a few others, such as Wabbit, which, which he claims to have gotten a certain score, which is impossible because the game actually you know, that kills the player after 1,300 points, and he claims to have gotten more than 1,300 points. So that is very clearly not likely, especially considering the game only rewards you in scores of 5, and yet his final score is not a multiple of five. So it's very clear that that particular high score is not legitimate. There's a few other games where this problem reoccurs as well in various issues where the game provides score in certain multiples, but the final score that he claims he got is simply not possible under those conditions. And there's again a few other games that he claims to have gotten certain speeds on, but when you remove all the obstacles from these games and use tool assistance, you still cannot get the scores or the speeds that he claims that he got. So it's very clear that he has been fudging the numbers ultimately. In fact, you may have noticed the game I'm playing in the background is Centipede, and there is a reason for this because one of the records that is disputed was a world record for high score that he got on Centipede. Now granted, I'm using the arcade version here, played through Steam, whereas historically his record is supposedly on the Atari 5200. But the fact of the matter still stands, I am using this game for a reason. At the end of the day though, what are my thoughts on this? Well, I think it's extremely important to catch people that are trying to lie and cheat their way through the system because especially when talking about records like this it's extremely bad for the industry to see someone that's a record holder that's supposed to be a legend within the industry 
get that way not because of their skill per se but at gaming but their skill at manipulating people and manipulating records it's also very unfortunate that he's actually it's taken this long to actually catch him at his own game because let's face it this record the guinness record is for longest held speed run of a game that is what that is what this record is so the fact that it's literally the longest standing speed run of any particular game because he cheated to get this speaks volumes for the kind of it speaks volumes about the industry and not in a good way hopefully this will end up making changes that will be for the better for all of us of course the speedrunning community in particular is going to have some pretty noble effects i'm sure but at the end of the day the problem the fact that matter is that this shouldn't have happened in the first place it shouldn't have gotten to this point anyways that's all i really have to say about this i uh, hope to see you guys again soon take care ace out <laughs>